Hi, hey fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's we're playing, Dan? We're watching Boys in the Hood. It's been heavily requested, and we're here to give it to you guys. Enjoy, guys. Let's go watch this classic. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Enjoy. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's a slap of reality. Mm-hmm. Did y'all hear the shooting last night? Yeah, I heard it. Y'all want to see something? Just go to school, kids. Yeah. Just gonna wander through a crime scene. Blood all over yeah. the place. Yeah, there is. What happened? Somebody got smoked. Look at the hole in the wall, stupid. He's stuck until my time's tables. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's got brains here. And the early English settlers who were called... Yes. The penguins. <laughs> <laughs> who said that? Oh, a bunch of snitches. <laughs> Would you like to come up and teach the class? Yeah, I can do that. Well, no. All right, man, don't dig your hole deeper. But did you know that Africa is the place where the body of the first man was found? That means everybody's really from Africa. I ain't from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. <laughs> All right, kid. Punk, I'll kick your ass. Okay, boys, that's enough. I'll get my brother shoot you in the face. I'll get my daddy. Trey. At least I got one, mother... Damn. Mm. Easy. Damn, now. Oh. <laughs> It's on now. All right, yeah, teacher, you kind of had that coming. That's why you don't give kids sticks. Yeah. He has a very bad temper. It makes it extremely difficult for him to oh, interact exactly. with the other children. Look at look Jesus. at that. That's horrible. He's right in the middle he, of the street. And he's just walking by with that. Is there some problem in the home? Are, are you employed? That's really none of your business. But since you asked, I am employed, and I'm studying to receive my master's degree. That's kind of offensive of her to ask. Yeah, exactly. What did we put down in writing? Well, you made this kid sign a contract? Oh. If I do not conform to this agreement, I will go to live with my father. You know what? Choices have consequences. Yep. There are rules in life, kid. You better learn them. Yeah. I just don't want to see you end up dead or in jail. Look at me. I'm serious. I love you. Yeah, he's got to wisen up. He's still young. He's got a chance. Yeah. Oh, it's fish burn. Yeah. How you doing? What's the matter? You can't say hi? Go ahead. Talk to your friend. Hey, man. Kids want to play. Uh-huh. You wanted him, you got him. I can't teach him how to be a man. Mm. That's your job. More than anything, that's what he needs. I want you to rake up these leaves off the lawn. Boy, don't look at me funny if I ask you to do something. Here, take this. He just got there. He hadn't even unpacked yet. <laughs> it's time to rake. <laughs> Damn your daddy, man. Hey, do all these leaves. Who do you think you is? Kunta Kinta? Really? Is he teaching you responsibility? He's terrible person when the damn leaves keep coming <laughs> <laughs> get small picked up and more just start dropping too bad <laughs> good work though he's out there all day doing that too he did what his dad told him to do you know trey you may think i'm being hard on you right now but i'm not i'm trying to teach you how to be responsible mm -hmm. yep it's like your little friends across the street they don't have anybody to show them how to do that you're gonna see how they end up too i, I believe that yeah they don't have that father figure in their life right Mmm, mm, so he broke in, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. That's the least of your worries, kid. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, my God. Those are some serious... I say, what caliber was that? 44 Magnum that he's popping See, there. Somebody must have been praying for that fool. I swear I ain't right for his head. Should have blew it off. Which would have been contributing to killing another brother. That's the last thing he wanted to do. He just wanted to get a good night's sleep. Right. Stopped at a drive through on the way? Just tell me what happened. Well, somebody broke into the house. I fired at him with my piece, and he ran away. So you didn't get him? Well, if I got him, he'd be laid out here in front of you, right? This cop's got, got an attitude, man. Yeah. I can see why Furious is furious. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's too bad you didn't get him. Be one less n*** in the streets we have to worry about. What is your problem, cop? I don't know. Hey, little man. How you doing? Going in the house, Trey. Go on. Yeah, don't shake hands with that guy. He's not a respectable person. Something wrong? Oh, yeah. It's just too bad you don't know what it is. Nothing worse than someone with a badge that lets, lets it get to their head. Think they a gun and a badge make you something because you carry them. Mm-hmm. Just like your dad. You don't do shit, and you never gonna amount to shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> do around here is eat, sleep, and shit. <laughs> is that it? I gotta go. Where you going anywhere, you little fat? <laughs> ain't got a job. Good lord, dad. <laughs> Taught you <laughs> that way. <laughs> Mm. Who's that? That's my lady, homie. Her name's Brandy. Your lady? Your lady, I doubt it. <laughs> Get your fast ass in here and quit looking at them nappy-headed boys! <laughs> These kids are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all want to see a dead body? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> That's an actual Don't dead body. Die. Oh, yeah. Look like Freddy Krueger got him. They just left his ass there. Oh, no. Uh, you kids better get out of there. Come on, don't mess with these kids. Oh, Damn! Yo, Yo, throw the ball, little man. I ain't gonna take it. I got enough money to buy me a hundred balls. Well, then go get yourself. Yeah, go your get own. one. Don't do it. Well, then again, they'll kick your ass if you I don't. say, what are you gonna do? Thanks, cuz. Yep. Go, dog. Yeah, let's go. It's a tough looking guy. They're all tough looking guys. Give me my brother's ball back. What's your fat ass gonna do? Oh, give him the ball, dickhead. Oh, oh. Bad move. Mm -mm. Damn. Real tough, guys. Yeah. Picking on kids. His daddy gave him that ball. Mm. Should have left that ball at home. He's right. He didn't know this was going to happen, but I see the point. Yeah. Hey, little man. Catch. Good up. <laughs> Not good hands, though. Yeah. <laughs> You want to play ball when you get older? You better get some better hands. <laughs> what do you know about sex? I know a little bit. I take a girl, stick my thing in it, and nine months later, a baby comes out. Yeah, pretty much. A little more complicated than that, yeah. but more or less. Any fool with a dick can make a baby, but only a real man can raise his children. Mm. Furious, you're something else. Anyway, I wanted to be somebody you could look up to. I guess that's why I went to Vietnam. Don't ever go in the army, Trey. Black man ain't got no place in the army. He got his reasons for thinking so. Yeah. I don't blame him. I mean, I just wouldn't want to go to, go to Nam, so. Not at all. But I really like the, the way he's raising his son. Mm -hmm. He's doing good. Yeah, he's doing great. And he's staying involved in his kid's life. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Oh, no. Uh, what's all this about? Yo, man, what happened? Oh, still. Yeah. Come on, man. 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 Come on, you see the difference in parenting, though. Mm-hmm. She's only worried about her reputation. She's not worried about her kid going to jail. Yeah. I don't think he did. I don't think he's going to have to worry about that with his kid. But, I mean, he can't be a father to everybody. No, he can't. You're only required to be a father to your son. Seven years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. It's a hell of a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> All those 40s oh, in the air. <laughs> <laughs> mm, really? Uh-huh. See, that's how y'all got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Domino mother. All right. There's Doughboy. Bill Bellamy here at the table. Mm-hmm. There's Trey. Mm. Looking classy. Yeah. Oh, shit. What up, G? Trey loving him. Damn, bro, how'd you get so big? Up and on, eating, man. Nothing else is doing the motherfucking pen. Yeah, that's probably about right. Oh, yeah. That's Trey, Ricky's best friend. Girl, I like to rush that. Do he got a girlfriend? Yes. Oh, he does now. Mm hmm. <laughs> you better watch his ass. Somebody might steal. Oh, whatever. I don't think he's that kind of person. I don't think he is either. But I could see them trying. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how they all bum rushed him out of the way. Hey, why don't you act like gentlemen and let these ladies eat first? Yeah, the ladies eat. That's right. Hoes gotta eat too. <laughs> okay, not so right now. I ain't no hoe. Sorry, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, man. <laughs> so why haven't you called? Just one minute. Well, that was a quick conversation. We gotta think about your answer. Because she wants to talk to you over there. I'm taking my time. I'm trying to win that game. <laughs> yeah, how am I doing? She left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Why is there a kid walking down the street by himself? That's bad, man. Mm hmm. Keep your baby out the street. You got some blow? You got some rock? I suck you. Oh, gosh, she's holding the pipe in her hand. What? Whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what was the point of all that, Ricks? Those are realities you and I never knew. I know. Yeah. I'm getting old, Pop. I'm getting old. Yeah. That's what people no. do. They age. I'm getting better, young brother. You getting old. <laughs> Come here. Come <laughs> <laughs> Smell the ladies at the party? You had some. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Wait, just sit down. Oh, sit down now. Just... Yeah, Dad wants details. Find out if you're doing the right thing or not. Mm. This group of females rolled up in a rap. She walks right up on me and she busts out. Is this your ride? Yeah, you want to go for a ride with me? I want to drive. Can you drive stick if you teach me? Really? 
Is that something... how that worked out? <laughs> Sounds like something out of a magazine. Yeah. As soon as I go inside, boom, we go at it. Seems grandma forgot her purse. Mm. Uh-oh. And she heard everything. Huh? No, she <laughs> can smell it. <laughs> Stinks like sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Which is nice. <laughs> Man, that's the last episode. Teach. <laughs> For your own good. <laughs> What'd you use? I have to use nothing. She said she was on the pill. Pilling will keep your dick from falling off. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you insist on learning things the hard way, Trey, but you're going to learn. Oh, yeah, you're going to learn. Hopefully you don't learn that one. I really hope not, man. I lied to Pops yesterday. Told him I wasn't no virgin. Well, you ain't a virgin, eh? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I ain't never stuck it in there. Why not, man? I was afraid. <laughs> oh, man. Don't laugh at your friend. He just confided in you. He's being responsible is all it is. Yeah. What you afraid of, man? Being a daddy. Oh. And now that I don't want to flap some skins, Brandon ain't even down for it. Well, I imagine she is. She's got to approach it the right way. Maybe. All right, here we go. Football time. We went to school and went straight to football. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. You haven't talked to me in five days. Well, I've been... Busy. Oh, well, don't give me no bald ass excuse for a lie like that. Yeah, that's kind of a stupid cop out. Yeah. Oh. Right off. Jeez. In broad daylight. Oh, the yeah. People. They're going to beat his ass up now. Yep. <laughs> that was so stupid of you, man. Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> Probably going to sell it for drugs, man. Probably. Oh, jeez. <laughs> for a moment there, <laughs> that was looking kind of awkward. Yeah. Giving me a ring. <laughs> Ready for all that yet? Oh, but you're ready to act like we're married, though, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. She's got you there. Yeah. <laughs> Just marry the girl. She's so worried about it. Yeah, man. Your dad raised you right. I bet if you propose, she'd accept. She probably would. Don't be in such a rush, man. Y'all got a good thing going. Neither one of you really want to do this. Mm hmm. He's about the same age as his parents were, weren't they? I think so. Yeah. Wait, hang on. I'm at the call. Who it is? It's the Pope. Oh, hi, Mama. <laughs> is that how you answer the phone? Are you going to give me the skins or what? Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how the phone works. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Who dis? What kind of way is that to answer the phone? Thought about what we talked about? I don't know yet. Let me speak to your daddy. Who dis? <laughs> <laughs> we know where he learned it from. Yep. Reva, this is bullshit. There's no reason for him to come live with you now. Uh, that's fair. He's a grown man, man. Do what he wants. Yeah. Anybody know where Ricky Baker lives? You live here. Hey, yo, Brent. The man here to see. Are you eating right now? Okay. That way so. So what college you from? I'm from USC. Mm. Oh, you can hear all the copters going by and everything. Mm -hmm. How you doing? You met the game against uh, Washington, right? You picked up uh, 276 yards in that game, huh? Not bad. Wow. Somebody didn't have a defense. <laughs> <laughs> all you have to do is take the SAT test. I heard about that test. Just remember, all you have to do is get over a 700. That's not much. You can do that, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get a little bad. <laughs> well, close the door next time. Your little brother? It's my son. Oh. I guess your recruiter didn't like that. Well, the more reason why he needs help is he got a family to raise. Exactly. Give the man a chance. Yeah. I always knew you would amount to something. I'm proud of you, now go and ace that SAT. Mm. Get Trey to help you study. I say, he's the one to talk to. Yeah. This time, you have 30 minutes for section one. Open your test books and begin work. Boy, I sucked at the SAT. I ain't gonna did lie. Did you? Yeah. I, I did remember. pretty good. I don't even remember what I got. Pretty sure I had one of the highest scores at my high school. I bet you did. <laughs> but that was me, right there. Yeah. Just kind of <laughs> staring around. Yes. The <laughs> yes, we're taking a test right now. Focus. Don't be like me. Furious financial. Furious financial services. Right. I love it. Furious okay. Styles. Talk to you later. Furious Styles. Ooh. That's a name. He should be a hairdresser. <laughs> I know, like right? A, like, a, like a barber. <laughs> you boys want to see something? Do we have a choice? No. Uh, well, that's what you get for showing up. <laughs> so here are my tax returns. I'm going to go through line by line and show you how it works. Right. While you're at it, rake up all these leaves outside. <laughs> oh, soul to soul. That looks Korean. Yep. This is how you do business. A catchy slogan mm. and a phone number. You know what that is? It's called gentrification. Mm. It's what happens when the property value of a certain area is brought down. You listening? Yeah. Everybody wants to learn. Yeah, they do. Now, what we need to do is we need to keep everything in our neighborhood. Everything. Black owned with black money. Certainly they don't want the Koreans moving right. in and dropping liquor stores in there. Why is it that there's a gun shop on almost every corner in this community? Why? Trying to make you kill each other. 
They want us to kill ourselves. You go out to Beverly Hills, you don't see that shit. Best way you can destroy a people, you take away their ability to reproduce themselves. Mm -hmm. Damn, he spit knowledge. Yeah. Yo, man, you believe in God? There was a God. Why be letting motherfuckers get smoked every night? Babies and little kids, you tell me that. Because he gave you free will. Mm. It was his book, right? And it was telling life and a perspective. God was a bitch. No, it did not. <laughs> Why every time you talk about a female, you gotta say bitch or hoe? Because that's what you are. Doug wants to learn some manners. Yeah, he really does. He ain't got a furious in his life to teach mm. him manners. Very true. Oh. Hey man, what's wrong with you? Fuck you looking at, nigga. I'm still trying to find out, nigga. All right, everybody, chill. Calm down. We got a problem here. Can we have one night where there ain't no fight, nobody gets shot? Shut up, bitch. Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you. Call a bitch. Get that bitch ass. Oh, okay. oh boy. Y'all need to de-escalate the situation here. Yeah. How people actually get shot because mm -hmm. you can't control yourselves. That's why food be getting shot all the time. I show how hard they are. Shut up. You be doing that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh shit. Somebody actually started blasting. They sure did. Damn, they're out of there. I don't blame them. What are they shooting at? Oh, they, they just get shoot. in the air. Really? You just wanted to shoot in the air? Just wanted to spoil the party because yeah. you look weak. Getting the fuck out of LA. Can't go nowhere without it getting all shot up and shit. Oh no. What's all this about? I don't know. Tell go send him back to those guys who just fired a freaking Mac 10 in the air. Yeah. Oh, it's this guy. Uh -huh. Dude. Okay, calm down. Yeah. He didn't do nothing. Scared, no. I like that. That's why I took this job. He's just a kid. Leave him alone. He's not in any gang. No. Leave the guy alone. Possible 187 You gentlemen have a nice evening. I don't blame you for wanting to get out of this town, man. Jeez. Mm -mm. Bad place to be. Oh, you're late. I thought something might have happened to you. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. I'm tired of hearing them shooting all the time. Be tired of hearing those choppers flying all yeah. the time. Yeah. Sounds like a war zone out there. Yeah. I'm tired of this shit. So fucking tired of this shit. Fuck this shit. I don't blame you, man. Don't let you kill all you. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Poor kid, man. Maybe you should go see your mom. Never thought I'd be crying in front of a female. You can cry in front of me. You know, considering your reality, I think you get more right to cry than maybe we do, so. Yeah, I think so. Sure you're down for this? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I mean, yes, I am. Okay. At least they both consented. Yes. I don't want to get pregnant. You won't. My daddy taught me how. <laughs> <God's sake. laughs> Did he tell you he wants to move in with Brandy when he goes to school? Yeah. So don't you think that's a bad idea? No. He's been raised by his dad. What do you want? Well, you're his father. That means you were supposed to guide his decisions. What the hell you think I've been doing for the last seven years? Well, not that evidently. You raised him fine. Yeah, you're just bitter now. Trey is a grown man now. He is not a little boy anymore. That's right. That time has passed, sweetheart. You missed it. Sit your ass down before I raise my voice and make a fool out of both of us. You're already kind of loud. Why are you wanting to do that? Don't be that way. Come on. You taught him what he needed to be a man. I'll give you that. Because most men ain't man enough to do what you did. Thank you. That gives you no reason to tell me that I can't be a mother to my son. But you're being a bad mother. Look, we can, we'll have a conversation about this in mm. the end, but okay. If that kid wanted to live with you, he would have done it. Yeah. You have to know what most employers want. Like how to motivate yourself. I don't know if you want to go into the army, dude. Why don't you go into college? Yeah, I don't know why you're looking at that. That's interesting. Let's go for me, man. Get some corn in. Show why. Let's go get the shit. Fuck you, man. What? Hey, you punk, man. Whoa, easy. Come on, Trey, let him go. Get off, Mama's boy. Get him, go. Oh, come on. Knock it off. About to say, don't injure your brother, man. Oh, that worked. Trim me fool. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Ricky, baby, your task scores. But you hit me fool. Because you hit your brother. Yeah, you started the damn thing. Man, my daddy told me a black man has got no business in a white man's army. Well, listen, I got a little boy to think about, okay? Well, that was kind of furious, this thing, too, so... Yeah. I want to do something with my life, all right? I want to be somebody. Well, go to USC. Yeah. You don't want to go to USC? Go somewhere else. There's plenty of schools. Mm. Oh, Jesus, man. These guys got anything better to do? Apparently not. Cut! Cut. Oh, man, just leave him alone. Go about your business. You're going to catch up to him. I gotta drain the weasel, man. Take the time. 
of all the times for you. Oh no, he saw him again. Rick! Let's go. All right, wait a minute, man. Let's split up. We gotta throw some heads. I think it'd be better for together. Oh man, them fools ain't gonna wanna do nothing, man. I wouldn't count on that. Mm -mm. By yourself, you're an easy target. Yeah, make a better decision than that. How many sc Oh no. Oh no. Yep, you realized it too. Ricky! Oh shit. They're too close. Ooh. No, oh. for God's sake. Why? Ricky! Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! He didn't do anything to anybody. Mm mm. Jesus Christ. Mama! Oh no. Show this to her. No! Oh my god, Mama! <laughs> Ricky! Ricky, thank you, get him! Oh, Ricky! Get the kid away from this. Yeah. Give me the bag! Give me the bag! You don't need to be seeing this! He's actually right this time. Yes. Poor Doughboy, poor Ricky. It's an unending tragedy. Meet me at my house in five minutes. What are you gonna do? Just call the cops. That's what you need to do. Try what happened? Talk to me. What happened? Oh, Talk to him. Something just happened to Rick. I don't know. He just got wait, shot. Wait, Something wait, happened wait, wait, to wait, wait, Rick. I want you to go home. All right, Dad, time to talk some sense into your son. Yeah, he's gonna be all right. Oh, you bad. You gotta shoot somebody now. Well, yeah, I am. Come on, shoot me. Yeah, let's just put it down, Trey. Look, I'm sorry about your friend. My heart goes out to his mother and his family, but that's their problem, Trey. You my son. You my problem. Nothing you can do that's gonna help the situation. No. Give me the motherfucking gun, Trey. It's just all emotion right now for him. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's so important for him to have his father in his life. Yeah. So he can learn to control those. You're my only son, and I'm not gonna lose you to no bullshit, you hear? I love you, man. God damn it. His mom can teach him a lot too, but this is where it becomes important. Yeah. Is learning how to control yourself. Absolutely. And learn to be a man that's not just a tough guy. Mm-hmm. Trey. No. Trey! Well, I guess he didn't learn. You don't want to be doing what these guys are going to do. This will hollow you for real. Mm-hmm. Let me out. Don't. Let me out. Okay, there we go. A little bit late, but at least you came to these senses. It takes time sometimes, man. He's, yeah. he's he's young. He's not a mature man yet, man. Sometimes you just need time to think about it. Yeah. He's got a cooler head now that they've been driving around. <laughs> he passed. Yep. Barely, but he passed. He was going to get a full scholarship. What a waste. He's going to have all the opportunities in the world. Mm-hmm. Daddy, go right there. Turn off the lights. Oh, yeah. They ain't going to see that at all. <laughs> There's plenty of streetlights out there. Come on, check that out. Yeah, y'all are dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One, two, all three of them. All three, yep. What are you doing? Well, it's personal, dead, yeah. man. It's very personal for him. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be an execution now. Fuck you, man! I'm about to do it, man! I pull the fucking trigger! You That's got the, the guy that you got the guy that did though. They will trace those damn bullets back to you. You know they will. There's no way you're getting away with this. No. Yeah, shit if it is, this won't make anybody feel better. Mm -mm. Ricky's still dead. He's not coming back. Still left the wife and the kid behind. Yeah. Mother's probably going to be without both sons now, because Doughboy's likely going to be in jail. Or just likely to get killed from maybe other retribution. Mm-hmm. He didn't do it, Pops. He didn't know that, though. I don't know how you sleep after this one. You don't. I guess life goes on then, huh? Yeah, that, pretty much. Jesus. You into that stuff now? He's probably still always been into it. Mm. Very next day. Just right back at it. I don't know why you got the car last night. It shouldn't have been there in the first place. You don't want that shit to come back to haunt you. Glad he at least understands that. That's cool. Kind of late now that he has to live with what he's done. Yeah, but I think he's just glad he doesn't have to live with it. Turned on the TV this morning. 
Man, all this foreign shit. I ain't have shit on my brother, man. Fortunately, no. And that's still a thing today. Yeah. I ain't got no brother. Got no mother neither. She loved that fool more than she loved me. Dope boy. Got some blow, got some rock. Get the fuck out my face! Yeah. Keep them goddamn babies off the street. I don't know what to say for poor Doughboy right now. I don't either. I mean, how do you live with that? I don't know. Hey, Doe. You still got one brother left, man. There you go. Get on you, Trey. There you go. Later, G. Later. One for you, Ricky. Oh, Jesus. Did you take her with you? With Randy, yep. There we go. Not too far away. No. Started out the way it started out and ended in the worst possible way. Very sobering ending. Yeah. The movie was almost a sobering or a constant reminder, too. Yeah. Like of how shitty some places are in the world. Yeah, you didn't see the violence until the end there with Ricky, but you constantly heard the gunfire, you heard the sirens, you heard the helicopters. Stuff was going down, it was only, it was only a matter of time until it came on the screen. All the time. Yeah. yeah. I was really impressed, too, uh, when Furious had both the boys there in Compton, I think. Mm -hmm. And he was showing them the billboard, Cash Free Homes. Yeah. I was impressed that they showed that it was soul to soul. It's not something that he talked about, but I do know that Ice Cube has a song called Black Korea, I think. Really? Yeah. Some Koreans came to different hoods in different parts of the country mm -hmm. and just throw up liquor stores. Hmm. And they would never throw up a grocery store if they drop if they dropped a business there. It'd never be something like a grocery store or anything. Right, you know, a liquor store or a gun store or something like that. He made a song like that. So they were appealing to the the worst in the community instead of trying to make it better. They were doing that, and he made a point of emphasis to call it out in one of his songs. I want to see if it's if I got it right. Yeah, see right there. Mm -hmm. and burn the store right down to a crisp. You can't turn the ghetto into Black Korea. Because they don't want these kind of stores there. They want things that are better for the community. So Right. And they made a point of emphasis there to show how, I guess, Koreans were buying up real estate mm -hmm. in these areas in an, in an effort, I guess, to move them out so that they can turn it into their own thing. Right. So like gentr gentrification, gentrification, like he was yeah. talking about, yeah. I was impressed that they made a, that they made a whole point of emphasis in that mm -hmm. movie about it. Really smart on their part, I thought. No, it's, all around, it's a very smart film. Certainly. You can see with, with Lawrence Fishburne's character there as Furious. Furious you know, he, he knows all the stuff that's going on. He talks very eloquently. He's a very wise man. He is. He's my favorite character in this. He is, for sure. Definitely. I like the father that he is. Mm -hmm. the, the responsible person that he is. Mm -hmm. He's an example for his community. Mm -hmm. And I wish more people would notice that. But it's like they, but more than anything, they just dog on him for being a responsible person in the in the neighborhood. Right. Like, how come you ain't hanging out with us? You know, you think you're better than us. Well, kind of he is. He is. He wants to be a better person. Than right. Him. And he wants to be a better person for his son. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I noticed, noticed there, too, is like, it's not enough to tell your kid to be better. If he's going to be better, he needs to see it in the house. Yeah. And Furious knows that. So right. Great on him. Great, very well written character. I say people are visual learners. They learn from what they see day to day. So yes. you know, if you have someone who's showing you the right way to do things, the right way to dress, the right way to act in front of people, mm -hmm. you're learning the right lessons. Yeah, it's like Doughboy is constantly in, in his environment, in his mm -hmm. house with his brother there. Couldn't have been more obvious that his mother loved his brother more than him right because she saw the potential in ricky like you said yeah he could be in, in the nfl he could be a breadwinner for the family yeah but early, early just, on in his life yeah, yeah whereas doughboy is just a dealer on the street and she could have done better by him mm -hmm. when he was a kid as 100%. opposed to as opposed to just calling him worthless and useless yeah while the other kid while the while she's loving on the other kid and saying yeah you're going to the nfl kind of thing yeah she could have tried to prop him up at least ask Furious, hey, can you show him what it means to be a man the way you show your son? Oh, 100%. That would have been the best thing you could have done. Mm -hmm. Right there is, I know it's not your responsibility, but you seem to care about this neighborhood, and I hope that means that you care enough to show my son what you're, what you're showing yours. Right. And even, and even just outside of Furious, you know, we, we saw them having that little conversation about God in the car, which was a little bit goofy, but you can kind of see what they're kind of thinking about know what's going on in life what does it mean to be alive what is it all for 
Yeah. And then you see also the conversation there at the end where Trey and Doughboy are talking on the porch there. And, you know, Doughboy, after having killed these guys, realizes, you know, it didn't really fix anything. I still feel terrible about what happened. <laughs> and he, he's coming to the understanding of why Trey do, does what he does. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, Trey is an example of, you know, as he grew up, he became an example of that. Mm -hmm. You know, that of, of what it means to be a man. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's still young, of course. But... He's he's actually a growing you know person like that. Yeah, and you can see how he's he trying gets better. Yeah, yeah, how he's trying to mesh the ideas of his father and those of his friends, because he's still trying to act like he's one of the guys he hangs out on their porch or at the local events or whatever. At the same time, he's trying to be a responsible, respectful individual. Sure. But at the same time, they're also his only friends. Yeah? True. The only kids he knows. He True. grew up with them, so I can't say I blame him for kind of wanting to be around him. He's got to have something. Yeah. And he's a good example for them. If mm -hmm. nothing else, he's a good example for them of what they could be if they wanted to. Right. Make better choices. Like I, I, I It's not that easy, mm -hmm. in the, given their situations, but I'm just glad that one of them had a better, had a better uh, upbringing, is what I meant to say. Right. Than the others, at least somebody was gonna get out of there and do some good and like, with their lives. Right. So, right. Great movie though. What'd you think of this whole thing? I thought it was good. I thought, I thought it was a a good look at just you know people going about their lives and in, in a really unfortunate situation. Going back to that conversation there at the end, you know, with Doughboy's talking about you know nothing on the news about his brother dying or even the men that he killed. Like that's an unfortunate reality in our country. You know, people die every day. They're murdered. They're sometimes two or three people are murdered. You don't know Unle about unless you live yeah. in that immediate community. You know nothing about that, but it's happening all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Everywhere it's happening today, it'll mm -hmm. happen tomorrow, everywhere in this country and around the world for that matter. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You made a really good point about the cops too. The the two cops that we constantly saw. Yeah. These were one of them was very passive about his partner, and the other one, the other partner, he was just a horrible person. Almost like the kind of person that was bullied when he was a kid and became a cop just so he could bully people back for it or something. I can see I that. He, he's one of those people in the neighborhood that was getting picked on by the bigger guys, and so he's taking it out on people now that he's got the badge. Yeah. Exactly. And then now he feels like he's got authority, or he can lord it over their lives. Mm -hmm. so. now you were saying something about the mother and what she was wanting for Trey. What what you want to say about that? When they were like in that restaurant? Yeah, thing? when they were in the <laughs> restaurant. Because I'd, I'd say that... I thought that she was trying to be a bad mother, trying to be too controlling over Trey. She might have been, and I can't speak to this because too much because I'm not a mother. Mm -hmm. But from her, I see from her standpoint, it's like she wants her son in her life too. I think mm -hmm. at the very least, and I don't want to dog her for that. But at the same time, it's been he's been living with his father for what seven years now. Yeah, he's grown up into a young man. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for him to move out at that point if he doesn't want to i thought that uh, that furious was right in that mm -hmm. and that if he doesn't want to move out he shouldn't have to and you shouldn't make him but from her standpoint it's like the way she's acting in, in that particular moment mm -hmm. if you saw this as how you were being with furious right why would he want to you seem like somebody that's trying to tear a family apart now for your own selfish reasons yeah i mean so it's a very mixed situation because on the one hand you know his mother's doing very well for herself. We can see that in the way that she lives. And she probably thinks she's better than Furious because of it. And, and, and in a way, you know, if you want to validate what Furious says, you know, hey, you have to avoid this kind of life, going with her is a good way of doing that because she, she'll she'll put you into schools and she'll get you on the fast track to good colleges and probably good jobs and all that stuff. At the same time, the man's got to live his life too. And I kind of feel like, you know, Furious has raised him well. He's got a girlfriend that he seems to be very committed to. Absolutely. He's got the opportunity to build a family and go to college. Like, why would you want to deny him those opportunities to do what you want? I guess to add to it, I think at some point, remember, like, that encounter that they had with the cops there? Mm hmm And afterwards, how he's kind of throwing fists at the air to get his, get his anger out? Yeah. Because he's just really upset. I think you pointed it out. He had opportunities to go live with his mom and get away from all that. Because mm -hmm. he probably would have been out of that kind of harm's way. And I kind of wonder why he didn't do it. Yes, I know. You probably wouldn't want to leave your father because he's showing you... Because he really knows his stuff and showing you how to be a man. Right. But at some point, it's like, you could have gotten out. You had the option. He had the option, whereas others didn't. Right. I, I noticed that. I do want you to know. I noticed that there. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain because he had the option to leave, and he and he knows he yeah, probably yeah. could have, but he didn't. But he didn't. And now he's just upset and saying, "We got to get out of here." So maybe part of that's just him being young and, and 
you know, still wanting to have fun because what did we see at the beginning of the film? Like when he showed up at his dad's. He wanted to be with his friends. He, yeah. yeah, first thing he's doing, oh, hey, my friends are here. Let's go have fun. Sure. And it could be the case he's like, well, you know, I could go with my mom and I could have a nice successful life, but I'm going to be around a bunch of stodgy people and probably not going to care about what they say or want or anything like that. And it's, it, it's kind of detrimental to his lifestyle, but not necessarily bad for him in terms of what you could be. Well, and he doesn't realize it yet, but I mean, the older you get, the less important that being around your friends all the time is going to mean to you. True. Yes, it's a good thing right now, but as you get older, you're going to realize how self-sufficient you really are. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't know that yet. Yeah, yeah. Especially emotionally. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you'll be in full control. At the rate he's going, he would be in full control. So. I say he's doing good, but you can tell he's still he's still going through a little bit. He is, and that's just product of their environment too. So. Yeah, I saw you. Yeah, but I saw you watching the movie, man. You're really uh, just taking this one in. Yeah, so. I mean, once they kill off Ricky, there's not a whole lot you can say about that because the whole thing is just unfolds as one major tragedy all the way through. No, like the, I, the fact that he dies like he does. You know, then he comes home and his family has to deal with that. His mother's trying to figure out, okay, well, you know, why did this happen? It, it's just, you know, what do you say to somebody in that situation? You don't. I, I don't know, man. It's You're right. Yeah, there's no words. I mean, there's no words you can say to anybody. Yeah. Sometimes all you can do, just do is be there. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for a mother, you know, losing her son. Someone who had their whole life ahead of them, had a, had a kid, had a wife. And he did what he was supposed to do he, he passed his SATs well enough to get a scholarship mm -hmm. and his life was snubbed out before he could find out he had the that, potential for everything and lost it all because of some stupid kids on the street I don't know if USC was the only option but in this movie he was going to a massive university I'm gonna say big well-known well-respected university he's his gonna life play, would have been set yeah oh yeah he's gonna play football for them possibly be in the NFL or if at the very least or at the very least have a degree I say if nothing else that USC degree is worth something Shit, yeah. I'm just, I'm sorry that happened to him. So. Yeah. Folks, I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, if you want to chime in, please let us know. Especially if you have any opinions about anything that we've discussed here or that we maybe didn't discuss, let us know in the comments, guys. We want to hear your thoughts here. If you want to watch this, it's subject to change, but it's currently on Prime. Uh, so by all means, go watch it, guys. Uh, it's an important movie with important messages. So. Absolutely. Yes. No matter, no matter what your situation, we fully get it. Good social commentary. Definitely. Really good dialogue, well-written characters, beautiful movie. Mm -hmm. But as always, guys, if you're brand new to our channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help our channel grow. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications for whenever we drop our next one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments, guys. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. and come see what we're up to, okay? But until next time, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Thank you.